Welcome to Talking Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. LSU scrimmages for the third time on Tuesday, hoping to build on the quickness of its first team defense. In Saturday's scrimmage, even without safety Jalen Mills, Les Miles said Corey Thompson had a nice downhill tackle on Leonard Fournette, who rushed 10 times for 100 yards. The scrimmage was closed to the media. Now we've reported that Mills will miss four to six weeks with a fractured fibula, but Miles would not confirm. I think there's a, 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 a want by him to, to get healed, get better, get, and get better faster. And I, I just, I, I don't want him to hear me say, um, you know, if, if he can get back here in four weeks, if he can get back here in three, if he can get back here in five, I don't want to, I don't want to. I'll put anything on it. I'm just going to let that, let him, let him really describe his, uh, his healing and, and his uh, treatments. Now, are you tired of hearing about quarterbacks yet? Not surprisingly, Miles said Brandon Harris had, quote, a significant advantage in first team snaps on Saturday. And as long as he doesn't get hurt, I think we all expect Harris to get the nod against McNeese. Here's Ron Higgins on campus. I asked Les, uh, you know, if he was more settled and more confident about this team right now this time than he was, say, you know, two weeks before the first game than he was two weeks before the first game a year ago. Uh, and, he, and he said, uh, uh, yes, but, you know, they're going to take these last two weeks to improve, and if they improve like he thinks they will, he will really like this team. So overall, I think it was a pretty content Les Miles today after this scrimmage. Now, Miles added that he wants Harris and junior Anthony Jennings to compete hard at quarterback. And that's a critical thing with the opener 12 days away. Now, Jennings really hurt himself maturity-wise with his summer arrest. But he said at media day, he's just grateful to be back and working hard. I was immature at the time. Uh, I've matured uh, steadily since then. Um, and I'm just ready to uh, come out and, and show people who I really am. Uh, and who I've, who I've always been. Uh, so I, I don't think one mistake can, uh, I don't think one mistake can uh, shape a per person's character, uh, but I obviously made a mistake at, in, that, in that moment. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm happy to be back on the team with, with coaches accepting me and the players accepting me back. Uh, it's a great feeling. Now quarterback is one of a few positions that are still undecided in Baton Rouge. So we'll see how it all plays out. And I'll be back soon as the McNeese game fast approaches. Thanks for watching.